Much love, Reflection. Today we're going to talk about a super heavy topic. You know, unfortunate that this has to be discussed, but it has to be discussed. So, I, in the past week, I have been experiencing, you may have too, if you know you're, you're tapped in, many shifts. Many, 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 many shifts that have been going on. So I have experienced this in my dream state. My dream state has been way, way out there. Way out there. I was sharing a dream with one of my friends, you know, I think it was like about a week ago at this point, where he told me, he was like, dude, you were in my dreams hardcore. We need to talk about it. I was like, okay. And we didn't get to talk about it until, because we, we both have been busy, and we didn't get to talk about it until uh, last night, I believe it was. And man, it was just like, we were in sync with it, big time. And just the the shifts of energy, again, the, the, the shadow, the dark energy that has been moving around and making, making the moves, it's been no joke. Again, you may have experienced it in your life. I personally have, again, in my dream state, I've seen it in other people's lives. I've had this, <laughs> this silly, silly dude, this silly guy, man, that has just been like popping in and out. And I know he's there to teach me a lesson. You know, this it's all there to teach you a lesson. Know that it's there to teach you a lesson. But it's a serious lesson that you may need to learn. So you need to, you need to be mindful. When you see this stuff come in, you need to be mindful. This isn't a joking manner. Okay? As much as like the the shifts might not be somebody coming in and, and straight up physically like fighting you or something like that, but it's a metaphysical shift. And they could be shifting things around and metaphysically around you that may lead, may lead you down a road that is not healthy. Not, it could be not physically healthy, not mentally healthy, not emotionally healthy, not spiritually healthy. Okay? So you need to be mindful of this. Be wise. You may know that this stuff is going on, so if you're aware of it, be wise. Don't let something slip in because you're like, oh, I, I used to know this person and whatever. Don't let that happen. Don't let it happen. Okay? You need, there's been some serious shifts that have been going on. Like I said, that the dude that has been popping in and out for, for myself works at a store. That's where I met him works at a freaking store <laughs> and I met him going through the checkout line think of like how random of a thing is that walking through a checkout line this do dude does not say hello to me the first time I, I crossed paths with them right this lifetime cross paths with them and he's like I opened my third eye I'm like oh dude okay cool awesome bud Soon to find out you're not my bud. <laughs> Definitely not my bud. Just things that he's talking about. You know, names that he's dropping. Topics that he keeps bringing up to me. And anytime that I see him, I might not even be checking out with him. I might be just walking by and it's like, yo, you know, I, I was looking into this. You know, I wrote, he writes articles and stuff like that too. I was writing an article about that. Like, dude. No, nah, man, I'm not about that. I'm way not about that. I'm actually like the flip opposite from that. Okay, so this dude was telling me mad stuff. Mad stuff. Like doing like blood magic. Like legit. This dude was legit telling me this. And if, if you're not familiar with this stuff, it goes on. I'm letting you know it goes on. And, it, and just to, to kind of 
move on that a little bit. I'm a, Le I'm a Leo. Thank you, Shirley, if you're watching this. I'm a Leo. Okay, so my sun sign is a Leo. So I express my the ruling planet of my sun sign is the sun. So I express that divinity in a, a an efficient manner. We'll put it that way. Okay, so I was born to be a spiritual leader. That's my astrological energy. I mean, I got other stuff in my chart that points in that direction, even more than just that, but it's very strong with me. For an example, I'm 28 degrees of Leo. The solar eclipse that just went down across America was 28 degrees of Leo. That was on my 27th birthday. So I channel that energy extremely efficiently. Okay, so that's why I'm, I'm letting you know this is legit. I've experienced it. Okay, I, with this dude, he's telling me, oh, I do blood magic. You know, I, I conjure up demons. I'm like, bro, you, like, A, don't bring that around me. And B, like, you need to be careful. Because you're going to come across somebody of the light that is not going to give a crap about you. And is going to, you know, just womp you. The light will always outshine the dark. Always. And when a being owns their light, owns their power, what are you thinking? Especially in, I did a video on change of seasons cosmically. As we're changing seasons cosmically, this we're entering even more divine light. We're very high vibratory beings are entering this plane. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think these beings of light are just going to let the, the, the dark energy that's been, you know, dominating this plane for a very long time to just continue to dominate? No, they're going to bring it into balance. So... Yeah, this I <laughs> I hadn't gone in there for a long time. Just it it wasn't meant to be. I go in there and this past week, like I said, just like in my dream state, I've seen I'm seeing it in other people's lives. I see it. People are coming up to me and telling me their own stories. And so I go into the store this this past week. Haven't been in there for a while. He's not even in there. But this dude, like I said, has been just do, being silly. This dude's been being silly for sure. I get in there and like right away my head is just like, whoa. Like I, I did not want to be there. I probably shouldn't have been there as long as I was, to be completely honest. Because he was just putting, he was putting stuff out there the whole time while he's in there. And like, you know, like conjuring up stuff that he he just does. He he's a fool. It's a freaking fool. Man, it's so like I said, this is a heavy topic that is very unfortunate that it needs to be discussed. But it's just it's it's just how things go. It's just the matter of life. You know, you have those ups, you have those downs. The principle of rhythm in Hermetics. Look that up. Look up the principle, the principles of hermetics, the hermetic principles. There we go. The hermetic principles. Look those up. You'll learn so much, and you can start to harmonize yourself in that manner to, to be in rhythm. Okay, like I said, you're gonna have those ups. You're gonna have those downs. Last week was a downer for myself. I still, you know, surf through the waves. <laughs> I still surfed it for sure. Still rode that wave. Always have to. Because then you'll learn the experiences you need to learn. You'll better prepare yourself for the next time. And that's what I did. You know, I, I made moves in my life that 
I'm like, okay, I, I have sensed the change. I have sensed the shifts, the, the moves that these beings have been making. So I'm going to make moves. It's like chess. Are you just going to let somebody run through you real quick? No. You have to make moves to counteract what they're trying to do. You got to think steps ahead. Everything is mental, right? Principle number one. That's where it's all based from. So you got to be keen to what is going on around you. Feel what is going on around you. That's what was going on when I walked into the store. I was like, oh man, I feel what's going on in here and it does not feel healthy. It doesn't feel healthy on any level. And people are just flowing in and out of that store. Oh my goodness. Oh man. It was a heavy, heavy, heavy time to be in that store. And there's ways that you can protect yourself. Okay? I personally like stones and crystals. There's other techniques that you can, you know, call in certain energies recite certain things that will protect you keep yourself very grounded work with your root chakra your earth chakra bring down your energy you can dim your light i covered amethyst so amethyst is a method of protection but the way that i sense how amethyst works is it's it's super bright you know so it's like oh man the that's way too bright i can't i, I don't want to go near it if it's dark energy but if you go into a demon's lair you're in their territory why would you want to be super bright you don't want that to happen so sometimes you need to dim your light down, cloak yourself. These are things that I'm working on now. If you know me in my personal life, or you just want to, you know, link up, link up. I'm very much discerning who I'm communicating with at this point. As, the, as Satan will masquerade as an angel of light, right? So very much discerning who I bring into my circle. Yeah. You may, like I said, let somebody into your circle you don't want in your circle. They may be masquerading as a being of light. And next thing they know, they're messing you up. Messing you up. It might not be obvious to your physical eyes. Your physical eyes see this much of the light spectrum from like this. So you might not be seeing it with your physical eyes, but if your mind's eye is open, it's clear as day. This per feel their energy. Find your balance, feel their energy. And you let me know. You discern. Is this person really about, oh, I want to give you light. I want to give you love. Or is that just their Trojan horse to get into your fortress and, excuse my language, but fuck you up? Man. Super bogus. Like I said, way heavy topic to talk about, but it has to be talked about. It has to be. You have to bring this into the light. It has to be. So everyone can be aware, can be conscious of the situation. Because some beings aren't that in tune to be picking up on this themselves. And they need somebody to speak it out for them. And that's what, what I'm doing. Like I said, I was born... 
to be a spiritual leader. That is in my astrological blueprint, my astrological programming, wiring. As above, so below. Principle of correspondence. Super heavy topic. Super heavy topic to discuss about. But dangs. Somebody's got to talk about it. Somebody has to. So be mindful. Find your center point. Ground yourself. Find the tools that work for you. That keep you protected. That give you shields. That give you your divine weapon whatever that may be I don't know what it is you'll have to find it for yourself even Jesus said this if you don't have a sword sell your cloak if that's all you have sell your cloak to get a sword you need to protect yourself You need to. You can't rely on somebody else to do it for you. You can't. You have to learn how to do it yourself. So like I said, if you're interested in it, I can shed some light on this topic in a more specific details in more specific details with you. At the same time, I'm being very mindful, discerning, okay, is this person really looking to learn or are they just trying to get into my circle? Super bogus. Super duper bogus. So if you've noticed that in your life, you know, in your dream state, your dreams may be communicating messages to you. This is something that, God bless your soul, Judy. <laughs> Every time she would just come through with these messages and just like slip them into me. And many times I was, I was snoozing on it. I wasn't present. I wasn't. I snoozed on it. But now I'm learning. I'm, I remember. <laughs> right, Judy? I remember. I hardcore remember a lot of the stuff that she told me. Because I was listening, for sure. It was just sometimes I snoozed on it. I was like, oh, okay. I hear what you're saying. I just haven't put it into practice yet. <laughs> and this might be something right now. You might be listening to what I'm saying. And you might not put it into practice in this moment for a particular reason. Maybe you need to go through a, an experience for you to truly learn why you should put that into practice. Sometimes we need to learn the hard way. I learned the hard way plenty of times in this life already. <laughs> Just how life is. Again, you have those ups, you have those downs. You have to have the downs to really appreciate the ups. And, you know, you have to have the ups to balance out the downs. So there's many, on this planet, we have all the tools that we need. All the tools that we need to keep ourselves safe, to keep ourselves healthy, to be prosperous, everything. It's just, are we aware of it? In that video that I did of the cosmic change in seasons, I laid it out there, not in super specific detail on, you know, the, we could do this, that, the other thing, this, and then boom, that. But all the pieces are on, all the pieces to the puzzle are on the table. On a collective scale and on an individual scale. They're all there. So do you want to tap in? Do you want to tune in so that you see the pieces? And you're like, oh, I can 
pick up this piece and this will give me this form of protection in this type of situation and put it right there. And I got, you know, this piece over there and I, you know, this does this and I'll put it right there. And soon enough you have, you have your own picture of, yeah, I'm, I'm super protected. I'm super grounded. I am super protected on all fronts. Again, we're multi-dimensional beings. You need to protect yourself in multiple dimensional planes. Many different ways. Just a quick example, if you're confused on that, this is just one example of this. We're way beyond just physical form, but if you are, if your awareness right now is just, oh, I'm this physical form, I'm, I'm Sean, you know, and that's it. I'm Sean. <laughs> If that's your awareness, you occupy up and down, left and right, forward and back. You also breathe in and you breathe out. That's four dimensional planes you occupy at all times. So that's four examples of ways, you know, you exist. So you at least have four ways to protect yourself. If you're just looking at it physiologically, you also have an emotional body. You got your aura and chakra system. There's a lot of stuff going on. Life is not, life is not just this. It's not just what meets your eyes. Again, your eyes, your physical eyes only see a, a fraction, tiny little fraction of the light spectrum. So trust what you feel. If you walk into if you walk into a room and you feel sick to your stomach right away, get out of there. Leave. Don't think about it. Trust your feelings. Go. Even if the masses, the herd of people are, are going into that space, they're like, oh yeah, you know, it's, it's such a good time in here. Uh, no, it's not. I want to puke. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom and freaking puke. Because I feel the energy that's in here, and it feels disgusting. It feels super heavy to the point that I don't want to be in here. I have a headache. I have a headache and I'm hearing frequencies. Leave that space. Leave it. Don't ask questions. Go. Again, the people around you might not be tuning into that. So you need to trust yourself. Get out of that space. It's not healthy for you on any level. You might not even know what is, I'm still learning on this. I'm gonna hardcore learn on this, big time. But you might not know exactly what's in that space, but if it doesn't feel good, it obviously is not good for you. So go, leave, get out. Especially if you, have even protection on you already and you have multiple layers of protection and it's still feeling that way get out of that space i had to learn the hard way many times because i wasn't trusting myself i felt it but all my reflections in that moment were in that space and they were doing their things so i was like okay I'll be in this space too, I guess. <laughs> Even though it, it does not feel good, I'll be here. Sometimes you have to learn the hard way. It's just how things go. This is an eternal journey that we're on. <laughs> so you're gonna have lessons where you, you learn the hard way. And again, it could be on a spiritual level that you got to learn the hard way, emotional level, mental level, physiological level. So 
So be mindful, discern who is in your space, what their energies feel like. Why would you want to be around somebody that drains your energy all the time, that makes you feel bad, that makes you feel low? They're not elevating your stuff all the time. Why would you want to be in that space? Again, I, I was in spaces where I was like, yeah, this person makes me feel like this and I was still in that space because I had to learn the lesson of, yeah, I trust what I'm picking up off of this person and I don't want to be around them. And there's nothing wrong with letting somebody go. I just did a video on letting go. This, that, the, the shifts, <laughs> the shifts that were going on is what led me to make that video, to be completely honest. Because I was picking up on stuff, seeing stuff where I was like, yeah, I see that dark energy shifting in making that move and what I have been picking up in my meditations, right? What's been being communicated to me is that as we're moving more into the light, into this, we're having that cosmic change of seasons, the dark energy is losing its grip, lose, you know, losing that, that firm grip that control, trapping people into a matrix and feeding off their freaking energy. Oh, man. Oh, <sighs> super bogus. So as this is, is occurring, they're losing that grip. It's slipping through. So what's been coming in is, as this is going on, right now, this shift that has been going on is like, they've called in the forces. They're like, yo, we need to, we need to band together and make a unified front, a unified frontal movement of energy to try to regain that grip. Straight up, that's what's been coming to me in my meditations. So if you've been feeling it too, it's, it's legit. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. If you're tuning in, trust yourself. You have to. Sometimes you're the only one in your you know, local community that's gonna be tapped in. Many times that's how it is for beings that are working in the light. You know, we, we, in, <laughs> we consciously choose where we wanna be planted in this space so that we can do the work that we were meant to do in this incarnation. And many times that's in an area that most people are not tapped in so that we can be that higher reflection for them. Again, be mindful and discern who is really reflecting what. Okay? You have to. Because again, Satan will masquerade as an angel of light. He will. So you need to be mindful of that. You have to discern it. Find ways to bring yourself to balance. Gain full on awareness of your own energy so that when somebody else is speaking or comes into your circle, you know exactly what they're about even before they speak. Even before you look at them, you feel their energy. You're like, yup, this person is not what they're about to talk about. 
You feel it. Because you're balanced, you're centered. And when they come in, you're gonna get that feeling. You're like, oh man, my, my gut, my heart, my head, my arm, whatever it is. Or just weird, whacked out, not good things are gonna start happening. Things that you had never experienced before, but all of a sudden are happening in your life because this person entered your circle. You let a demon in. Legitimately. You need to be mindful. You need to be wise. Especially if you're aware of this stuff, you need to be wise. It's not all sunshine and rainbows right now. Not on this planet. Not on this planet right now. Shoot, just look at all the pollution that's going on on this planet. It's, it's a reflection of all the darkness. That's not, if it was all sunshine and rainbows, there would be no war. People would not be living in poverty. No one would go, no, no children would starve. That is not of the light. All that stuff occurs in the dark. We can shed light on it so that light workers, beings that had incarnated on this planet to feed the homeless, shelter the poor, to clean up the pollution can do that. That can, can speak out against these endless wars. This war, war on terrorism. War is terrorism. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm 27 years old right now. We've been at war just with the war on terror We've been at war for more than half of my lifetime. Sunshine and rainbows. If you think it's all sunshine and rainbows, you are setting yourself up to be manipulated. That's straight up. doesn't mean you gotta go around not trusting anyone or anything of that nature you're, you're just mindful you can just you, you're balanced and you can discern who's about what and then okay I want this person in my circle because I know that they're about this particular thing or this person over here I sense is about this because I feel it they're no longer in my circle they may have been in your circle at one point before you were able to, to fully get into your balance and your center point, and they were teaching you lessons on why you need to be balanced, why you need to be centered, and why you need to discern who's in your circle and all of that. Again, always a lesson, always. But once you are able to do that, get them out. Let them go. Let them go. Oh my goodness, let them go. Oh, because if you keep them in your circle, then that is going to be a reflection of you. You will start to reflect their actions and you will start to take on that and project it at other people or they'll use you to, to manipulate, manipulate you and put it on other people. Super freaking bogus, but that's how it is. It's the truth of the matter. Again, super, super bogus, super heavy topic to be discussing, but it has to be talked about. If we don't talk about it, nothing will be done. Nothing. So that's why I'm talking about it. If you sense this going on right now, 
and you're in tune and you and you are wor truly <laughs> truly working in the light not just saying you are but you truly are working in the light you tr you need to protect yourself you need to find your tools to work with on many different planes many different levels to keep you safe that dark energy they their minds are open they know what's going on they're gonna see you be like yeah that person's in the light and they don't have anything to protect themselves so I'm gonna take that person out so they can't do their light work oh man Ooh. Heavy. Super heavy. Uh, I love you. That is why I am talking about this. That's why I'm shedding this light on this particular topic. Because it's happening. Like I said, it, in my dream state. If it's, if it's happening multiple places in your life... That's a pattern. That's a pattern. You need to listen to the patterns. And if it's something that is not healthy for you, get that pattern out of your life. Find ways to transmute that energy. Get it out. Let it go. Shield yourself from it. Shield yourself and again, find your divine weapon. That metaphysical weapon that you can carry with you anywhere, anytime, and pull it out if you need to. Everything is mental. What kind of mental weapons do you have? You can think about it just in terms of, shoot, if you're in a relationship with somebody, any type of relationship, doesn't have to be on a very deep level, but the deeper the level, the more intimate the level, you know, the, the more hardcore this can can come into play. Somebody can just say some words to you and think about how deep words can cut. Words can be a weapon. Sticks and stones can never, er, may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Oh, uh, that's a lie. I'm sorry. Because what do you do with words? You spell them out. You cast spells. And just as much as you can be casting spells that hurt people, you can cast spells that heal people, that share love with them, true love. Now, oh, light, light and love to you, friend. But really, <laughs> I'm fucking you up on the other end of it. Again, discern. Find your balance and discern what people are about before you let them in your circle. As they're approaching, you can sense it. You can feel it. You, shoot, maybe in your dream state, you had a dream that somebody is coming in to your circle and, and in your dream space, that person's not being healthy for you. Right? And it might be a week down the road. It might be a month down the road. Maybe a few months. Maybe a year. I don't know. But be mindful. You know, it's depending on where you're at in your energetic form and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be dependent, dependent upon how far you can follow those patterns into the future. Right? The patterns. If you see it in your dream state, you start experiencing it just randomly as in your life. People start coming up to you and talking to you about it. That is a pattern. Are you listening to the patterns? Are you conscious? Are you mindful of those patterns that are occurring around you? Or are you just turning the blind eye? You want to stay ignorant. You want to stay in the dark. You don't want to see the light. You don't want to see the truth of the matter. 
Which one is it? Sit with yourself and ask it. Ask yourself. Do you want to remain ignorant and in the dark or do you want to know the truth and be in the light? It's your choice. No one else's. You're going to be the one that's going to be going through the experiences. If you want to be ignorant and not protect yourself and let demons into your space, you're going to be the one that's going to learn the hard lesson. Or if you want to be aware of it, see the truth and let go of certain people, certain energies, certain patterns, and be more healthy, be more prosperous. Start to ascend higher up the spiral of life. If that's what you want to do, step into the light. It's your choice. It's all just a choice. And when you're balanced, when you're centered, when you have mental purity, you see the choices quite clearly. You can discern, oh, this is over there, this is over here, and you know, I'm gonna go over here. I wanna see the truth. I don't wanna be ignorant. I want to know as much as I can about everything so I can better live my life in harmony and balance with all that is, with my highest form of self. Why would you not want to do that? Again, super heavy topic to talk about, but dang, this past week threw me through a loop, threw me through a loop. I just went to the crystal store and got geared up. I know, I mean, I, I, I gear up every so often when I'm like, oh yeah, not this type of energy, I could, I could develop more with this, but I don't like hardcore gear up like the way that I did today, like really ever. That's how much I felt this shift. I saw the pattern on so many different levels. I was being communicated to. This energy, you know, came together and made a direct front. That's a serious move. That's a hardcore, serious move. So I'm doing my end. I know there's other people, other beings like myself that were chess. Oh, they just moved their, you know, knights over here and their queens right there and bishops over there. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do this and neutralize all of what they just did. That's, <laughs> that's what it is. Much love to you. If you're on this path of light, not that false light, not masquerading as an angel of light, because beings that are in tune are going to discern your crap. And this, what I'm about to give you, what I'm about to shout out, is not going to you. I, I have discerned. Many of that, uh, peop, beings of that nature, this is not going to. But if you are truly walking in the light, walking that, that narrow path, so much love to you, so much light to you, so much faith, so much courage, so much strength, be persistent, be patient, do, do your work little by little. Some days you, like today, you might have to do a little bit more work. You know, for myself, I did a little bit more work than I typically do on a daily basis. I did that today. That was my day today. But I was like, yeah, this is, today was the day that I need to do more work than I typically need to do, than, than I typically do do. <laughs> do do. <laughs> 
You gotta keep it light. <laughs> you gotta be silly. You gotta laugh. Be goofy. That's an awesome way to get your, your vibration up. Right? So then you get yourself up and then balance up top. You balance that high vibration. You're like, whoa, yeah, I'm, I'm vibing high right now. And then you sense somebody come in and then it's just like, boom. Brings you right back down. <laughs> Be mindful of that. I was just feeling so good. I was just being playful, being very playful, being silly, goofing with myself. And then so-and-so came into my circle, into this energetic field that I have, and just took me down. Took me down, sucked all my energy out. That's an awesome, that can be a very good tool for you. Laugh, you know, be silly. That can be an excellent tool to, dis to discern what is what, what's going on. Again, so much love, be strong, keep yourself grounded. Okay, not a fun topic to talk about, but it has to be talked about. And if you don't want to talk about it, you don't want to look at what's happening, you are setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up, letting you know that. And if you don't like to talk about it, you're not even this far into the video. Man, gosh, <laughs> hopefully, not hopefully, but I will be coming out with videos that are going to be more higher vibratory and getting you into that divine tune is coming. I needed to cover this because that was, it had to be talked about. All this stuff that was been going on, it had to be talked about. I love you. Tune in next time. Peace. <laughs>